So hello guys, I am Rachel Gelsa and this is my reflection on Filipinas Dentro Cien Anos. Uh, Rizal tried to predict the future of Philippines. So I'm reflecting this uh, using the mode of mirror. I would reflect it to myself being a mom. I am also predicting the future of my kids and to make it real, I should be the one who move or work first for that prediction to be real. Though prediction could be an imaginary outcome of anything, there is no assurance if it would be the real future, but when someone would make a move first and sustain, there is no reason for prediction to be failed. Por telepono. It is about Father Font, who was at Madrid speaking with a provincial priest in San Agustin Monastery using telephone line that is spare-headed. So, I'm using their uh, telescope as my reflection. It is all about wiretapping or red tape. Even in national, here in Philippines, red tape happened. One example of it is the former president Arroyo who uh, were talking to a man. The same scenario with Father Juan. It was very heavy those. Everyone should have their privacy and should be respected by anybody. La Vision de Frey Rodriguez the saint criticizes the priest on his beliefs and action which oppose the priesthood. So my reflection using the telescope is everyone have a right to criticize someone if he or she thinks that person opposes his or her idea. This past election is the best example. Defending each candidate is especially in presidency lead them on opposing each other and arguing on why should they vote that candidate others would end up being in each other enemy but we should put in our heart that we should respect each other decision they have their own basis on why they oppose Let's listen first on one's idea and if you don't accept the idea or thoughts, don't argue, just respect his or her decision. This is my reflection on Sobre La and Dolencia de los Filipinos. In Sobre La and Dolencia de los Filipinos, Rizal says one must study the causes of indolence before curing it. So, reflecting this using a mirror, mode of mirror. For me, uh, being a mom, I'm applying this every time that my kids were sick. I would like to substitute the word sickness in indolence for it. With the help of PDA, and I feel comfortable with it because giving them the right treatment would make their, uh, them better. So I always refer to media every time my kids get sick because there is a prescribed amount of medicine in every ages. We should not give treatment without knowing the cause. It might get worsened and lead someone to death. We should refer to someone who are capable. Ibarra resolves to forego all quarrels and to work for the betterment of his people. So I'm reflecting this using the mode of mirror. I have this kind of attitude to forget all the quarrels as we say, forget, uh, forgive and forget. Though sometimes there is no confrontation but for me it's already okay. Because if you forgive those people who hurt you, there's a light of feelings you're able to breath, breathe freely. or arguing is just a waste of time so which give you a peaceful mind and kindness to everyone if everyone have this mindset surely our economy would improve everyone has a peaceful mind.
Tales experiencing some improvements in his family fortune, besides to clear a portion of the woods to cultivate. During their first harvest, a religious corporation claims the land as their own and exacts an annual fee from Tales. So I am reflecting this in a mode of microscope. It is a very societal, particularly here in Philippines. Most of our fellow is having this crab mentality and jealousy, which they won't allow their fellow to get ahead of them. They would compete despite of being misfortune that would let them on borrowing money from others, or worse, having quarrel with someone. Therefore, I conclude those who really work hard really get their price but there are still people who would take advantage to those a person who only did his best to improve so that's all my reflections on ECs of Rizal thank you disclaimer I did not own the picture on this video they belong to the rightful owner